Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. It's been a while since the last time I played this game and that's because I don't really like this game, unfortunately. It started very promisingly but as we progressed it, it just got more and more underwhelming and... That's still cool, but yeah, this is just a game that... It just makes me really sad that the developers at Game Freak have so much crunch and have to make games so quickly and essentially have no time to make them good. <sighs> anyway, we are here at uh, Wyndham Stadium. Yeah. I believe this is essentially this game's equivalent of the Elite Four. Uh, so we're going to head inside. And we're going to take on the Elite Four. Uh, this guy's here as usual. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. I can tell you're following your dreams, and that means, you guessed it, I've got a Pokeball for you. You obtained a Dream Ball. It's easy to catch wild Pokemon while they're asleep. Pokemon that are asleep are easy to catch, but you want it to be even easier? Well, the Dream Ball will make your dreams come true. If your Pokemon use hypnosis or yawn to put the opponent to sleep, then give it a try. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Yeah, alright. Okay, space is choice. These people want to talk to me? Ah, a Pokeball monster! It's the ball guy. Who are you on the inside? Challenger Danielle, remember the semi-finals and finals are just speed bumps on your way to facing Leon. Have to win. Have a bug. Hey, money. Oh, you got a little squeaky friend. This is it. We really made it. Made it through the gym challenge. Might be four remaining in the semifinals. I'm the one who's going to win through and battle the champion. I feel like Challenger Danielle has a balanced team. She doesn't have any way to decisively win, you know? I guess the champion's going to extend his winning streak again. Rude. Okay, I can take this elevator? Where does this go? The locker room, apparently. Can I punch the punching bag? Nope. Can I interact with any of this stuff? I'm mashing the A button, so I assume the answer is no. I'm sorry, we're only authorized people we allowed to enter here. Okay, so there's no real reason to come here. Let's so get going. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm supposed to talk to Hop because he's right there, but... <sighs> this is the reception desk. Turns out I was the first to register for the Champion Cup. In other words, I'm already number one. It's pretty much in the bag that I'll win this thing. Alright. Any L, correct? We much know your performance in the gym challenge. This is just formality, of course, but I'll need to check your gym badges if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. Looks like B couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow I don't think he'd just take being disqualified lying down, you know what I mean? Guess it is what it is. Come on, Danielle. We should head to the locker room. Attention, gym challengers who have made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. Uh, I was here a second ago. Can I go this way now? No. Time for the semi-finals. I'm very curious about who will win among the four who competed in the gym challenge. Who completed the gym challenge. Oh, when you're ready, please head for the pitch. Only four people got here? Really? Oh, that's neat. You can sit on the chairs. There you go. Oh yeah, my outfit changed as well. My outfit sucks now. Well, I guess I need to go this way. Okay, the door opens now. Didn't before. Yeah, this looks familiar. I don't know if her Pokemon are fully healed. Hi, Marnie! So cute. I love her haircut. <laughs> I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I think there's been a lot between us. What with my big brother, Team Yell, helping Spikemouth and all that. The truth is, when all's said and done, 
I just really want to become champion for myself. Don't take it personal when I kick your butt. There's one train of money. Sent out Lipod. Hi, Lipod. Oh, yeah, we can Dynamax, because this is the... I'm going to win this one. I've got to win this, so I'm going to be champion. I'm coming out with everything I've got. Uh, okay, I'm going to U-turn. I think Torment is, like, damage every turn or something? I can't really remember. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I probably should have healed first. <laughs> oh, that's not a good situation to go into the battle in. We'll probably be fine, though. Uh, I, I think we'll be fine. I, I think we can manage this. Crafty. Uh, I'm real bad with the names, so I'm not sure what Crafty is. Oh, that guy, right. Uh, Crafty looks pretty small, so Heat Crash might be good because we're pretty heavy. Give it a try. Alright, I might just try Flame Charge. Why well, go that increases my stats but confuses me, right? Yes. Oh, we've got full restores. Kind of a cheap way to play the game, Marnie. Brick Break, that's fighting type? Super effective, but mm, not a big deal. I think Scary Face means I can't switch, so I need to keep fighting using Calm. If I pull correctly. There you go. Nice crafty. Uh, toxic road. That's like water poison or fighting poison, something like that. I probably want Cynthia back. I'm so bad with types. Maybe dark. Uh, okay, these are my most effective. Got a punch, that's dark. Should be okay, though. Oh! Okay, so I can't use water-type moves, so... I'm gonna U-turn. <laughs> Give this a shot. Mine seems to like swagger. I've seen it twice so far. Ow. I 
seriously toxic? I think I have an antidote, but rude. <sighs> toxic is, is the move that makes you badly poisoned, uh, which is significantly worse than being regular poisoned. It does like a I think a percentage of your max health every turn or something, so regardless of how strong you are, it eventually takes you out. Uh. I definitely should have hit the Pokemon Center before I started this. I think I think in this game you're allowed to heal between the fights, unlike the real Elite Four. So, I should be alright, I'm not concerned, but I did, I did mess up. <laughs> uh, heat crash. Morpheco's tiny. Torment again? Alright. Oh, you can't use the same move twice in a row. Is that what Torment does? Alright. I thought it was a damage over time effect or something, but no, it forces you to keep switching moves. Which is fine. I'm happy to do that. Level up! Ooh. Uh, Grimmsnarl. Uh, I probably want to switch to someone who's not paralyzed. You're kind of low level, but we'll see how we go. Hey, Gareth. But everyone's cheers back in me. I'm really, really gonna win this time. Got it? Uh, hello. You seem fierce. Uh, let's see. My bro might not use it, but I'll Gigantamax my Pokemon if it's to win. Yeah, I had a feeling you might. Well, I can do that too, so I'll be fine. Big. Works real hard training my favorite moves so I can use it in a battle against you. Good gracious. That is an extremely strong move. Uh, I think I just want to attack again normally and just basically ride it out. Because Gigantamax only lasts three turns. And that's two, which means they can only they can only attack one more time, and then they shrink, and I can still Dragantamax. Or Dynamax, whatever it is. Uh... And yeah, I think I want to tank it with one of my weaker party members again. Oh, I went first. Neat. And Gigantamax runs out. Okay, now they're normal sized again. And they have normal stats again. Let's just, uh... Rain. Uh, 
blah blah boo. Okay, so that's the sin that's the Marni fight done. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I lost. I got to see a lot of the good points of you and your Pokemon. Oh, sweetie. Everyone in the stadium was watching us cheering all that. I heard him cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. I think I'll join my brother in the stands and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, I think I can go and heal now. Danielle! Hello. We're waiting for you in the final match. Seeing the way you battled, I can't help accept any outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire. Uh, you should give them a burn heal. That sounds bad. Burns a very serious status effect in this game. Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handily, so as soon as you're ready, we'd like you back on the pitch. I believe I can leave now and just head back to the Pokemon Center. Which I need to do because I forgot to before the fight started. Ah. <laughs> uh. It probably makes sense to implement it so you just get healed when you go into one of those fights, but I guess if you wanted to do like a self-imposed challenge that would be a bit trickier. If you wanted to like go in with a status effect for strategic reasons. Or with like less health or, you know, something. Heal up my team, there we go. Thanks. Shut up, cop. I guess I'm getting changed in the elevator, because I have my other clothes on now. Why do you even have a door there if no one's allowed to go in there? I'm a cameraman from Macro, Macro Cosmos, Cosmos Television. Sorry, camera's rolling now. You mean the one I'm standing in front of? Final match for semi-finals is about to begin. Once a battle in this final match, it challenges Danielle and Hop. Both are endorsed by the champion. Yeah, we are. Alright, so we'll take on Hop. We've healed this time, so it should be relatively easy. <laughs> Had this sort of flashback, you know? Remember, remember? Back when we were still in Postwick? We got our Pokemon from Lee that day. Never would have dreamed to end up standing here, facing you of all people. It's time I finish what we started that day. Got it? The one who'll become champion is me. Yeah, not likely. Double... Hello, sheepy. Wait, he doesn't even have a full party. He only has five party members. Did, did he also forget to go to the Pokemon Center? We battled back in the garden, but I'm really, really fired up for this match in the stadium. Cotton Guard. What does Cotton Guard do? Just raises, like, defense? Yeah. That's fine. Ah, uh, full restore.
Did they just give everyone in these fights full restores to try to make it seem vaguely challenging? It's like, it's, it's, it's not. <laughs> Just do that. There you go. Incurchin. I think that's a water type? Good. Like yeah, like, like a little sea urchin sort of thing. Oh, it has electric type? Oh. Uh, hmm. I... How's that? I learned a lot by studying Lee's old matches. I, I might want to switch out if you have electric moves. I, I didn't really expect that. Um, <laughs> let me see. Probably switching to my own electric type to shield against your electric moves is my best bet. Especially if you're part water, because then I'll be super effective and you won't. Oh no, Spark not very effective. Eh, that's alright. Uh, I'll just crunch. Him with the poison. This is just like normal type, right? Hmm. Thing is, it's really big, so heat crash is not the right move. Maybe counter? Give it a shot and see what happens. Let's go, little squirrel. Yeah, that'll work. Really easy. Uh, Orbanite. Flying? I think electric is what I want. Uh, apparently, I don't. Oh no, Corbinite's not out yet, so I can't see what's effective. I think I kind of want Charles out, but Charles is all poisoned and stuff. Uh, I think I won't switch and maybe use an antidote on my first turn or something. Too nervous to eat berries. That would suck if I had any berries. Antidote.
If a super effective hit, yeah, of course. Alright, I know how to play the game. Yeah, that's some pretty bad re recoil. Not a problem. Cinderace. Uh, that's when I want Cynthia out, so I can use water. Hey, little bunny. Okay, this is your last party member. So just to... It probably makes sense to just do it like this. Yep, yep, we're Dynamaxing. Yep, there we go. Ball is big. Right over there. There we go. Big wizard. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd do that too. Thing is though, I have the type advantage, so I'm probably fine. Mm, big bunna. Yeah, I had a feeling that's what would happen. It starts to rain. There we go. Hola, poop. Danielle, thanks mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. So yeah, neither of those fights were difficult. Uh, even though I forgot to hit the Pokemon Center before the first one, those were both easy. <laughs> and the victor of the semi-finals, the challenger who has won their way through all of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenges, Challenger Danielle. Notice it said they about me just then instead of she. The game could have been using neutral pronouns all this time and it just didn't. <laughs> you know, even when Sonya was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, it really felt like one. But you, mate, I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Danielle, and Inteleon, and all the rest of your team. Danielle. That was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. I think the two of you set out together from the same town, built the greatest teams, arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. Isn't that hard, man? A burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion, it was battling in its very purest in every possible way, even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first. That was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger. The challenger standing before us might well end up being you, Danielle. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. Right, Danielle, the real challenge is what's coming next. I'm completely exhausted, I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best to refill your energy stores first, why don't we get some, get, why don't we get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but I never care at all what food tastes like, Lee. I don't like this deserves more than rubbish takeaway, so at least pick something good. Loading?
Challenger Danielle. Hey, Challenger Danielle. Got some time for questions? First question. You and Challenger Hop both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in a sense, wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? It was fucking easy. <laughs> right, question number two. If you want to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? He's standing right next to me, I can just talk to him. Question three. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too? Yeah. Alright, that's enough. Daniel's already tired from battle. You've been asking rather rude questions. That's all dinner plans with my brother, so sorry, but clear off already, would ya? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. Phew, famous people sure have it rough, eh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I can eat my own arm about now. Several hours later. It's absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says he'll do. He's a kid who promised me he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep to his own dinner plans. The kid's sure got a mouse on him, huh? If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know? I'll pack it in, Piers. I'm seriously worried here. I don't need to see your smug mug looking like you're having a go at me, even though you like track you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearances? No wonder you lost to your mate. You're looking for the champion, and I saw him heading to Rose Tower. Don't know what he's up to, but I ran to him at the monorail platform. I had to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late to your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could he have to do at this hour? Yes, do us a favour. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Danielle or I know the way. What rude siblings, always so demanding of others. Well, I suppose. The real problem for me too with the finals are held up for any reason. I don't really hate the two of your little runts. Good enough to beat me after all. I think I'll invite Team Yell along and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant, you're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. Uh, do I just follow them, or...? Okay, there he is. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Danielle. Decided the team yell will cheer you on, Danielle. Let's help out together. A beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Ms. Doliana? Sam and Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There's no way I'll let anyone interfere. After all, only authorised personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. Means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I've hands locked a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kind of menial games, after all. Think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I chose? Think you can find- oh, do you think you can find me? <laughs> The one with the sunglasses? What do we do? This isn't good, but I got this one. Daniel, Team Yell's yelling will handle this. Oh, this is brilliant. I'll put you on the front of the stadium. For now, we should try to head, the, head to the plaza together, right? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's all work together and head to Rose Tower. Oh, wait, am I, I'm looking for one of the guards that has the key? Let's find Oleana's League staff member. W wasn't this a mission in Sonic 2006? The bad one's wearing those lame shades, right? This is silly. I say they're all looking around so we can see what kind of sunglasses they're wearing. Oh, I got healed automatically. The bad league staff member. All of you imply they're not all bad. 
All right, I guess next time we're looking for the bad League staff member since it's half past. It's been a half hour and that's how long I make these videos, so... Yeah. <laughs> but it's gonna, we're just gonna do a Sonic 2006 uh, side quest next time. Uh, <laughs> hope you enjoy. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!